Oh, okay. We're going. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is uh, Tuesday, January 11, 2022. And um, I really wanted just to start off with you guys by um, giving us a tutorial, an updated tutorial on Napa Valley College and um, how to sign up for the college because I have a lot of people asking me how do you do it? How is, I'm having trouble with this and this and that. And um, honestly, it's easy. Um, you just have to start step by step. And I'll show you guys that here. So we're going to start off by going to Napa Valley College. And then just make sure you choose the first school suggestion, which is Napa, Napa Valley College. Go into the main page. This is the main page. And you're going to click on registration and go down to five steps up to enroll, which is under the registration. So first step, um, there are a couple, the, I've, my old video is the same steps through my um, my last video, but I wanted to make like an updated version because last time that I did that, it was like two years ago. I was a new student. I am now two years into the college. So this, I just hope this helps. So first thing that we're gonna want to do is gonna step one right here apply for online admission click this link this is complete the application and i think i am a user ready but um if you're a new user you're going to want to create an account you're also going to want to wait here and then begin creating my account and then you're going to go first name just make that previous names no just make sure to follow each prompt select your date of birth confirm it Social Security and you will continue. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into here because um, you're gonna um, you're going to be getting an email from them from California Community Colleges because you want to use directly the link that is given to you on the on this website because um, they will. Ooh, I'm sorry, guys. So. And they will be um, sending you an email through the email that you use, which is your personal email. Make sure that it's an email that you use every day. Um, like for everything, like if you if someone asks you for an email, you give them that email and they can email you. Um, so you want to complete the application. It's going to be just creating your account. It's going to ask you to st um, a lot of things like um, household income, how many people are in your house, financial aid situations, demographics, background information and what school you're going to um, attend, which I think you should be on there if you're applying directly through the website. Um, so after you complete that, you are going to want to wait about, the say the time frame is 24 to 48 hours, but between that time frame, you will be getting an email to the personal email with your Napa Valley College email and how to like do everything basically through there. So um, it's just going to give you your email, your student ID, and it's gonna ask you to sign into Canvas. I think it's either Canvas or Self Service, which I will go over in a minute. But you will be going through that, and it will ask you to reset a password, which they give you. For your password is going to be your birthday. For example, my birthday is August thirteen, so it would be zero eight thirteen, and the year you're born, and it would be the last two digits. For example, um, zero zero for two thousand, or oh one, oh two, or three, whatever year you're born, just the last two numbers of that year. And that will be your password. And then after that, you'll be prompted to put in a new password on there. And we'll go over the next thing. So then once you move on to step number two down here, which is um, complete an orientation, is you're going to want to log into Canvas. So it's going to take you directly with the link here. It's going to take you to it. You just need to click on Canvas. I think mine might be already there because I've been logged in. I've been a student for two years now. But basically, don't, don't mind this because this is already like a class that I'm taking this semester. The um, teacher already submitted the Canvas portal. But um, you're going. the only one you're going to see is you're going to see the course named... Oh, let me see, sorry. Um... NVC online orientation and this is going to just say whatever semester you registered on so for example I registered 2019 in the spring semester I registered for that so that's when I registered for the, for the college so then I registered early Ooh, I'm sorry guys 
Yeah. So you will start here and it will like show you how to navigate. And this is the way you will be navigating your classes. So really pay attention to everything. For example, a course syllabus, a teacher might link a separate document and you can, or they will also submit it like this and it will start like this and you can see everything, grading policies, um, summaries, everything. So it'll be either in a separate document or it will be on here, depending on your teacher. Modules is basically like units of like what you're going to be doing. For example, unit one or module one is introducing you to Napa Valley College. This right here is all that you have to complete in order to complete, fully complete the um, orientation. You start by this one right here, so Napa Valley College New Student Orientation. You go through the whole thing here. You have to pass everything with 100% in order to mark it as complete and you can move on to the next thing. So it will um, go ahead and just give you trainings here like enrollment process, assessments and placements, um, academic goals, financial aid, finding help and helping yourself, which is like grading systems and everything, um, campus safety, save, which is um, sexual misconduct and sexual violence. That will give you like awareness towards that. And then you will um, you will be registering for this is like registered classes right here and then you complete the congratulations and that will send to your um, record that you finished this orientation. As you can see right here, it says prerequisites on this part right here. If you guys see my mouse, it says prerequisites Napa Valley College new student orientation. And so that's what you have to do. So you do this. You have to do this before you start this. So you have to go through this before it lets you go to here. So you can't just jump onto one thing and just complete it and so you're done. You have to really go through stuff here. Um, so for example, here it says prerequisite, not for like college orientation. You have to complete that. Prerequisites, like unit one, you have to complete this in order to get this to unlock. And then it will just lead you through the end of the whole thing. So then grades right here, well, this is like a sample. This is like, this is why the orientation is here. So it can like get you used to this. So this is the way you will be viewing your grades in most of your classes, like your current grades. Some teachers do not follow this and they follow their own grading system and they do it outside of Canvas, which is fine. But if your teacher does it like this, you'll just have to, you know, you'll just have to, like, it'll be fine because this will be updated as soon as they, they get them in. So you have to get 100% in order to pass this, but this will be how you view grades in all of your classes. The next thing I do want to show you guys is um, Tech Connect Zoom, since we are in online right now. Um, you click Tech Connect Zoom if your teacher has Zoom, but you know, here, this is 2019, this is just a button so you can get used to it. Uh, but Tech Connect Zoom, if your teacher links their Zoom here, they will go ahead and have all of the meetings that you will have for the semester listed here. You just click on the one for the current date and you go into there. A new thing actually that came to us, is, I think, I believe I saw that for the first time, is uh, last spring, spring 2020, it's 21, yeah, spring 2021, I saw, um, I saw Starfish for the first time, and what Starfish is, most teachers do or they don't use it, it's up to them, but basically Starfish is a um, website where they give you kudos for doing a good job, and they give you updates about your grade on there, and they tell you things you're failing or if you have anything, you know? Right there, everything is there. So next thing I want to teach you guys is calendar. So if your if your teacher uses Canvas, immediately, you'll be able to see here. You'll have a lot of things like right here on this is calendars. All of your classes should show up here once you've um, had them all submitted. Once the teacher submitted to your dashboard, and what happens here is. They will, you can check them off, and then right here you'll see um, meetings, homework that's due days. You'll see it, but I'll, um, I'll give you guys a picture view um, of mine right now when um, in the next clip. I'll show you guys. And then inbox here, the next thing. Uh, inbox is where you have all of your, all of your um, things here, like messages from teachers that are there. History stuff, studio, all this we don't really use, so that's why I'm not, not going to go over it. But that's basically Canvas, and that's what you know you see there. Okay, so that's how you do your um, online orientation. Once you complete the orientation, you go back down. You you put go to step number three, which is determines determining your English and math placement. This is very important because before you can do this, you need to do this. Before you can do step four, you do step three. And what this does is you will do English and math placement. Once you click on it for step number three, 
English and Math Placement, you will go ahead and click Get Started. And then you are going to currently say, oh, you're gonna, a current NVC or you're a senior in high school, depending on when you're doing this. And you will go ahead and know, you want to know your math and English placement status. So then it will ask you, um, when did you graduate from high school? Within the last 10 years, obviously, if you're a first year student. Um, you want to indicate your GPA using the slider bar here. I'm just going to put 3.0 for the purpose of this video. 3. Point whatever it's right there. And then you want to put the highest math course you completed along with all the other ones you completed. So the highest one that I took, pre-calculus, I took math three, algebra, algebra two. And then you click next. And then you indicate your grade for each of the classes. I'm gonna put a C for the purpose of this video, or C plus. And then same thing, if you, right here indicates, if you were in the spring of 2020, like for example, me, I graduated 2020, and you were affected by the, by the COVID-19 virus close, closings, and you did not receive a letter grade, and you receive like credit only, or like, or no credit, if you receive credit, you put a B. If you receive no credit, you put an F. But I receive credit for the class. So I'm going to put B. But you put your grade in if you got an actual grade, you know? So math 3, you will submit your grades for that. You will submit right here as well with a C grade. I'm just going to put that for here. But as well, if you took math 3 when the COVID closures happened, if you got credit, you do go to a B. Didn't get credit, go to an F. So I'm going to put B just for the sake of this. Algebra 2, in the spring, if you were affected by the COVID thing, again, put B. And for first semester, sorry if you guys hear the fans are going off. My computer's going crazy right now. But if you um, if if you were affected again in the spring, you put a B and you got it if you got credit. And then fall semester, just put whatever grade you got. You keep going here, and then here is going to be English class now. So pay attention to this bold part because it will tell you what class you're going to be grading. So let's just put C's for both of them. Let's put a, um, let's follow this and put a B just to see here. Okay. Same thing here. So this right here is a preview of your placement. You have to click right here, recommend for science majors. But if you're a science major, like if you're um, going to be science, pre-med, viticulture, health occupation, like nurse, respiratory therapy, and all that stuff, you want to click here, and it'll send you to the next step, which will be your, um, which will be your, which will be your chemistry placement. So, here it gives you a preview, and once you click next step, you will. I'll show you guys. But right here, it recommends me for access to English 120. You can take that, or you could consider taking English 120 with 95, which is just um, support class for 120. Or you can take English 90 if you don't feel fully prepared for English or English 120, it's up to you. So let's go to next step. I'm not gonna fill in this next part, but what you do want to do here is you're gonna wanna take me to the placement form to request my placement. That will put that in your record as well. And then you will put your NVC student ID, which you should have received in your email. You put your first name, and you, if you have a middle name, just put it as a second name. And then last names here, date of birth, email. You want to use the email that they provided you. For example, um, it, your email is going to be your first initial, your last name, but they will give you your email when you sign up. When you get the email saying the your student ID number, they will give you your email. For example, my last name is Cortez, C-O-R-T-E-Z. So my email is Jay Cortez. And then the last five digits of my student ID. So my student ID is 0371157. That's my student ID number. You would go 71157. So that would be for here. So it would be, let's just do my 0371157. That's my student ID number, my name. My date of birth and then my email it's going to be as you see right here in yellow it says Jay Cortez which is my last name my last five digits on my student ID at student.napavalley.edu so that's going to be the way that you are going to sign into canvas sign into my self-service which I'll go over in a minute so after you do the English placement go back to five steps to enroll you want to follow these steps step by step you're going to want to attend a counseling session 
with the counseling and the counseling center. So you're going to click this link that says visit counseling center. You're going to want to uh, click where it says book an appointment. Click here. And then same thing. You're going to want to put your, um, your first of all, you're going to choose your counselor. You can do any of these counselors are good. Um, I do recommend uh, one counselor, Eric Martinez. He is really good with everything. So he's really good with everything. Really good. So. Oh, she's somewhere else. Okay. Ugh. So Eric Martinez is my counselor. But whenever you want to want to counsel with anyone, let's say, for example, we want to schedule with Angela Moore. Let's go schedule meeting. You're going to agree. You're going to log in with your student ID number, but mine's already logged in, so it's already, like, you know, pre-thing. But it'll go ahead and do that. You want to go down here and re-click Angela Moore. So you can just get her days that she's available. For example, she's not available today, but she's available tomorrow. You're going to click on the day that you're available. Scroll down, and you're going to click um, step four, attend a counseling session, because that's what you're doing for if you're watching this video. You're doing step four. And then I do recommend being a video meeting just because it's much better they can share their screen with you and you can see in real time what they're doing to your schedule what they're doing with steps so you can also have a visual of how to do things so here it'll give you recommended time slots but if you want to see more of course you can see all her time slots if those don't work go back up here and click another day or click next week whenever this person is available to meet so um, if you want to click on someone else just click on Rodney Webster let's just say and it will show you if they're available anytime soon. And since they're not, then you're just going to have to click until you find a person. Let's go with my counselor, Eric Martinez here. He's available tomorrow. He's available all next week because he is a full-time um, counselor. And then he'll start to be available more when school starts. So you will just click the same thing. Go back to step four. Want to do that? You will recommend video meeting and then choose any of the dates. And then it'll give you the times that he is available for that date. And you will go ahead and schedule based on what you can do and what is available. Okay? So let's get out of here. So once you have completed this step four, you're going to want to go back to, um, to five steps to enroll. And in the counseling session, um, your um, counselor may do a full plan with you or they might do an abbreviated first or second and the first to third semester plan with you and they you should tell them that you have a disability that's where they can accommodate you and they can get you um, a meeting with our DSPS if you need that or if you need special services talk to them and they will direct you to the correct services so now that you have completed step four though you want to go ahead and go to step five is register to your classes so I do want to talk about a couple things under here so right here where it says register through web advisor, you are not going to do that anymore because this is going to be invalid starting spring 2022, this semester basically. So you're gonna want to go to self-service, self-service dot Napa Valley, sorry guys, I'm touching that, dot edu, and you're gonna click enter, and it should take you to this website right here. So, here, it's gonna, just going to give you a uh, little PSA that you have to be vaccinated for um, against COVID-19 for the spring 2022 and beyond semester. So, you're going to want to click username and remember how your email starts. For, like, mine is jcrtez71157. That's all you need to put. Don't need to put the full email, just the beginning part of your email. And then password is something that you should have created when um, you log in for the first time. But if it's your first time, you're going to log in through here. You're going to use the password that, um, that was given to you in the email if it's your first time. Then you'll be prompted after you sign in to change your password. So it happened with my, with my friend the other day, so we could do that. And so it works. So I'm going to put my password. So let's just say you're good, right? Let's just say you're good and you're in... Um, this is going to look a little overwhelming. But I'll tell you guys a little, um, a little um, pre pre like preview of what each of these mean. So, for example, student finance here is you make you can see your statements as to what you paid for, what you owe, and you can also make a payment through here. So that's this. I will go through the, all these in an in-depth video, probably in the next video, just because I'm doing this as the college thing, as the college um, sign-up process. And then tax information here is that you can get e-delivery of your. Um, a 1098 um, T form, which is 
school tax, which is what the school made you pay and how much school cost you and you, how much you spent on school, like in tuition. And then here is courses and sections. Here you can view and look at courses and sections that are available for the semester that you are looking for. And financial aid is here. You can look at your financial aid forms. Please pay attention if you have completed the FAFSA and you make sure that you put Napa Valley College if you're going to plan to attend uh, when you do your FAFSA. Also, for financial aid, here, this is going to be very important. I'm going to cover financial aid in a different video, but here's financial aid. But this is very important, so stay tuned for a video coming out for this. And this um, in depth right here, but I'm going to go over everything in a, like an overview of everything in the first video and how to do things. So, student planning is right here. This is what I'm going to cover right now. And student planning, this is where you can search for your timeline, your schedule, you can register for classes. This is what the college wants, wants us to transfer to, to self-service. And honestly, I found it easier than any other thing to do. So here is grades. You can view your grades by term. And this is like by everything that you've taken to see if you pass or not. You can also get a transcript, through, I think, through here. Or I think it might be through um, student planning. But right now, I want to take you through the registering process because that's what we're here for. So for registering, you're going to click student planning, go to your plan and schedule, and you're going to click timeline right here. Right here, you will see the classes that you are planned. For example, this is a full plan that my counselor and I went through and that we are agreeing for me to transfer to the university. So here is my timeline. This is just, I'm using mine for the example. And if these have gray with a check mark, that means that you have registered for them. So these are planned, the ones that are in gray, like dark like this, and they're like, we can hover and click like that. And those are planned, but these are planned and registered. You can only register when it is your priority day, which I will cover as well in a new video. So right here is English 120, History 120, LGBT 121, and Spanish 21. Those are the classes that I have registered for and I am signed up to take this semester, which starts in a week from, when am I posting this video? A week from today. And then right here is the rest of the semesters that I am planned to take. I am planned to take, and I am going to be finished with my program to transfer in fall semester of 2024. That is crazy. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Oh, I did this wrong. No wonder. I was like, wait, why fall semester 2024? No, it's going to be fall semester 2023. I messed up on here. I'm going to change that later. But let's go back to timeline again. And then you're going to want to do... You're going to want to do... Um, just looking at your plan. Let me start over this, okay? So once you see this, you're good. And um, to register for a class... Basically, you click on the class you're going to have, and since I already signed up, it just has um, all the details of the class, but whenever you're going to look for a section to add to your schedule, you're going to want to search for courses. For example, let's look up English 120, which is what is in my plan. You go here, and make sure you go to these little this sidebar right here and click on Spring Semester 2022 so it doesn't give you results for fall or anything like that. And then just go down to available sections for English 120. And then you look at what is available. Make sure you look at seats. If it says waitlisted, don't register because you're most likely not going to get into the class. So for example, waitlisted zero, which means it's a closed section. This is already full. So there's seats. It says seats in a, in a high quantity. That means that there are still some seats available for English. So then you just take it. And then for you to add the thing to your schedule, you're going to want to take, let's use the class I already signed up for. For example, I signed up for Gillis C right here. You add a section to your schedule and add a section because you're uh, looking for fall for spring semester. So you add it to your schedule. But as you can see right here, it says it hasn't even planned on the schedule. And then to view your schedule, we can go back to academics, student planning, planning schedule. And you can just click on timeline and you will see that I have actually registered for English and it's there. If you want to look at your schedule, you can. You can just go here and then go to schedule and you will see a calendar. But, let me, let me refresh this because it should be there. You can see here is a table of when your classes are planned to go on if it's in-person or online synchronous. 
So, I only have one class a semester, English 120, on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Those days, that, that is the only time that I'll be going to school. But, as you guys can see down here, I have classes with no meetings. This will show up in the bottom because I don't have meetings. So, um, the ones with no meetings mean that you just have, it's asynchronous, you just do the class coursework and that's how it'll go. So, and that is that. And that is step number five. So let's exit out of here. And after you do that, um, you're going to want to pay for any classes, like I said, under student finance and self-service, how I mentioned before. Go under student finance and make a payment or like payment. It'll be right there and you should pay. Then I will talk to you guys about like other things of the application in the next video. But this is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy steps one through five. And I hope you guys, if you guys are seniors, congratulations to the class of 2022. I will see you guys, hopefully, if you guys come to the Napa Valley College, I will be there. And I will make more videos of how you guys can find me on campus as I am part of campus life. And you guys will see me around. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Semester. And congratulations to the class of 2022.